Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown. It's a very chilly morning down here on the cut. Um, I think that the cold has got to me because this is about the seventh time I've done this introduction, literally. So without further ado, forgive my early morning voice as I give you a quick look at the Carrera Virtuoso road bike. Um, this won't be a review as I've only ridden about 30 miles on it so far, so I'll come back with some proper thoughts after I've got a few more miles of road beneath these wheels. I've bought it to replace my Apollo mountain bike at the back that's all but fallen apart. So you can imagine how much easier and quicker I am finding this bike. And something as well, I'm not saying that this is like super light, but compared to the Apollo it is very lightweight as well. Anyway, let's have a look at this bike itself. So it's got all the classic things you would expect from a road bike such as your curly handlebars up at the front here and your extremely thin and very very high pressure tyres. It's got, it comes with these pedals with the clips on which I'm not a huge fan of as, well I just don't like having my feet attached to the bike. Um, but I've seen it's something that a lot of people have sort of said yeah I don't like the pedals at all get some new pedals as the first thing you do and etc. Um, something that I was considering was taking off these clips but then I realised it didn't really matter because you still have to have the pedals one way up as the axle running through is raised if you have them upside down but that's hardly a huge problem I mean, you can pick a couple of pedals, pedals up for a couple of quid. So you get your standard very firm very thin seat love it or hate it um, as you can see the brakes are this very um, compact system that are very close to the wheel and I find that they work excellently. Um, I haven't given them a proper really really wet condition test yet but that certainly will be interesting to see but so far they're much better than the massive old sticking out of the side cantilever brakes on the mountain bike. Um, if we have a look at the gears, you'll see that it's the 16 gear system, got two cogs on the pedals and then another eight at the back there. Um, because this is new and it's been well built by the good people at Halfords, uh, I'm finding that all the gears change exceptionally quickly. So you have one um, gear lever there and then it is the brake lever itself which acts as the opposite direction. So that's a nice little system. Um, something I do find though, I mean, I don't know if it's just me or not, but I always find as if the brakes feel like they should be in a slightly different position, as it sometimes feels quite awkward to get to them, but that's only a minor um, gripe, and I suppose at the end of the day, I've never ridden one of these bikes extensively before, so there's bound to be some different things I need to pick up. Uh, the wheels are attached with these quick release systems, that's front and the back, so that's definitely a nice little time saving helpful addition. Um, but yeah, basically that's your bike. Now this has a in the shop at Halfords retail price of 550 quid, which to me is exceptionally wallet stinging and something I could never ever pay for a bike. But if you order it online, or certainly when I ordered it online, it was £170 cheaper for basically exactly the same bike. Just all you had to do for that is literally go on the website, click buy or reserve now, and that's literally £170, quid, so that made it £380, quid, which is still something that makes my wallet cry and my heart well, I don't know what it does, but it doesn't do it doesn't do me much good. Um, but all in all, I am loving this bike so far. Like I say, I'll be back very soon with a proper review after I've got I don't know maybe 150, 200 miles in. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I will see you around soon. Make sure you check out sortofinteresting.com for a load more random stuff. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and. Well, until the next time, have a great day and farewell.